and no surprise that Netflix is losing subscribers, Ian. Yes, yeah, it's uh, latest financials came through, uh, as we reported uh, a few months back when the Q1 uh, report came through, they lost 200,000 subscribers then. Uh, and now in the latest financial reports, they've, yeah, as you say, they've lost another million subscribers. Um, to be fair, back in Q1, they predicted to lose 2 million subscribers, but obviously his success for likes of Stranger Things has managed to, to keep a few people hanging around. Um, and in fairness, again, they've still got 220 million subscribers. And in the last financial quarter, they still posted an increase in revenue of $7.97 billion. So it's not exactly all gloom and doom. Um, and just a couple of added caveats to that as well. In the same report, the company announced that the cheaper ads supported tier that we've been talking about uh, in the past is due to arrive early in 2023, but still no word on pricing. Uh, and they also referenced the paid sharing uh, system, which aims to clamp down on people sharing passwords around uh, various households without paying for it. Uh, this involves just paying a small extra subscription fee per household. So you can link households to one account uh, and that's going to start rolling out on a uh, more of a global scale uh, in 2023 as well. So yeah, a bit of a few losses from Netflix, but a few pointers as to what's happening in the future as well. Um, something that's just worth adding. Someone pointed this out on Twitter earlier, uh, and I think it bears repeating that this subscription loss, a uh, subscriber loss rather, it does include Netflix pulling out of Russia. Um, so that's, you know, I think that's, there's a world of difference between people cancelling their subscriptions and you you know, ethically removing yourself from a market. Um, so in terms of, uh, Ian's comments are valid here, as in, in particular, that it's not as bad as people expected, especially as baked into those numbers was the loss of a complete market. Mm. So yeah. um, And the, the COVID bump as well, which saw a lot of people sign yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. And during lockdown and then no longer need it. So it was expected. I don't want to pretend that it's smooth sailing for Netflix. They still have some serious structural issues to overcome and the balkanization of the streaming service market is going to be a huge problem for everyone who isn't um, Apple, Amazon and Disney, who, let's face it, have you know unlimited resources. Um, nevertheless, uh, Netflix isn't... Uh, where, well, I've gone on record in the past and I feel that Spotify's future is particularly bleak. I don't feel that Netflix is in the same category yet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how how this one goes. Um, but yeah, it's worth pointing out that the drop in subscriber numbers includes uh, removing themselves from a complete country. Yeah. And, you know, a million sounds big, but it's not that big when you look at the bigger picture, pun intended. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Uh, you know, it's a drop in the ocean for for a company the size of Netflix with their subscriber base, and they they produced the first half decent film this week. So, oh, it's which, dividing opinions. I keep intending to watch it and being sidetracked by episodes of Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Netflix are going anywhere just yet. I do think some of the uh, the policies that they're trying to bring in, especially account sharing, may backfire on them slightly. Um, because I think that's one way that they tend to grow. You know, people latch on to somebody else's account and then they think, oh, actually, this is not too bad and, uh, you know, end up getting it themselves. So uh, they, that could backfire on them a little bit uh, if mm. they start trying to clamp down on that kind of thing.